What is going on everybody? This is Robert with Robert Saves History and today we will be doing our last and final episode of Season of the Coins. This will mark Season 6, Episode 6 of History of the Coins. Stay tuned after this intro and we will look into this beloved Sacagawea dollar made in 2000 at the Philadelphia Mint. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for attending this last and final episode I cannot thank you all so much for what you have done. Thank you so much for tuning in every single episode, every single season, just to learn just a little bit more about the coins that we save from circulation and the history behind it and why we collect them. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right in front of you is a 2000 Philadelphia Mint Sacagawea dollar. Don't be confused, this is not a gold coin, no. So, Sacagawea dollars were minted and made between the years 2000 and 2008. The design of this coin was selected in national competition from among 120 submissions that were considered by a panel appointed by the Treasury Secretary, Robert Rubin. The adopted modif depicts Sacagawea, a young Native American Shoshoan. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I do not want to offend anybody. Um, as a as conceived by artist Glenna Goodacre. On her back, she carries Jean Baptiste, her infant son. The reversed shows an eagle in flight designed by mint sculptor and engraver Thomas D. Rogers, Sr. The composition exemplifies the spirit of liberty, peace, and freedom shown by Sacagawea in her conduct in inter interpreting and guide to explorers Lewis and Clark during their famed journey westward from the great northern plains to the Pacific. These coins have a distinctive golden color and a plain edge to distinguish them from other denominations or coins of the familiar size. The change in composition and appearance was mandated under the United States Dollar Coin Act of 1997. Several distinctive finishes can be identified on the Sacagawea dollar as a result of the mint's attempt to adjust the dies, blanks, strikes, or finishing to produce coins with minimal spotting and better surface color. One group of 5,000 pieces dated 2000 and with a special finish were presented to sculptor Glenna Goodacre in payment for the obverse design. Unexplained error coins made from mismatched dies, a state quarter on the obverse combined with the Sacagawea dollar on the reverse are extremely rare. So this is what they mean about that. So you would have where this, this is the obverse or heads Right here would be a a state quarter, okay? And then if you 
go on the reverse, you would find Sacagawea on this side. Now, if you find that, put into a flip, get it appraised, you might be sending on a lot of money, guys. So, there you have it. This coin is made of 77% copper, 12% zinc, 0.7% um, magnesium, and, and some nickel. This coin was minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. And there were 22 karat gold numismatics specimens dated 2000 West Point Mint in 1999 so keep a, keep an eye out for those so thank you guys so much for everything you've done thank you for tuning in to all of these videos it means so much to me please leave a comment on this video letting me know how I did in all of these episodes and all of these seasons and let's take it one step further this marks the last of my season so what would you as a viewer or a fellow explorer and coin collector what would you love to see next on my channel would you like to see more about quarters or pennies do you want to deep dive into a certain denomination i would love to hear from you guys what would you guys like to see next on my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you really like this video please hit that like button it means so much to me thank you so much for everything you guys do and we will see you on my next video guys. Thank you so much.